Elio guys and welcome back. So version 1.7.6 update notes have finally arrived and I figured I would go ahead and just review them in case you guys haven't seen it or if you've seen it you get to hear just my opinion on it but I do hope you guys are well but let's go ahead and get right into it. So new stories are being added to the well new areas are being added to the story so we now have Ribble Castle. It's gonna be pretty cool and a Lunar Hyam. A, a Lunarheim? A Lunarheim? That's, on, that's how I'm guessing how you say it. That should be pretty cool as well to explore. I actually need to catch up on the story because I haven't been doing it. And then Antra is being added in as the new character, which is great because I'm not sure if you guys have seen one of my thumbnails before, but I'm like, Crave Mov. Crave Mov. Please. Please make this a character. Looks like they're finally doing it, so I would definitely add her to the waifu squad. Maybe I'll end up building her. It all depends on her kit and how well she is. But even then, I mean, just having another waifu is always important for L Chronicle. Next up is some new costumes being added. Lee is getting another costume. I can't really say that I'm happy about that. Lee already has enough costumes. Like, Lee doesn't need any more costumes. Where, where's our costumes for Mubu? Where's our costumes for Aqua at, man? Where's our costume for Year Young? Where's our costumes for the ones that matter? Lee doesn't need any more. And Julia, Julia's made costume is actually fine. I'm just not a big fan of Lee's. But again, that's my own take on it. A new growth item has also been added. The L Stone is divided into the Aura Stone and the Star Stone, each with a special feature. Aura L Stone increases the stat of the hero. The hero has a total of seven slots for the Aura L Stone. And then Star L Stone allow Aura L Stone's additional option unlocked. Only certain heroes can can equip Star L Stone, and the hero has only one slot. So uh, is this like a different page? Yep, it's actually a different page. So we have runes, and now we have L Stones as well. We can equip seven Aura L Stones, which looks like they just increase um, whatever given stat by either a percentage or a flat rate. And then there is the Star L Stone, which I'm not sure what they do. Maybe it does some type of effect similar to runes or maybe different from it. Because we do have that kind of night thing up there. And that's on dice. Is that like a defense buff? Defense percentage? I don't know. I don't know. This, these are just the notes. But anyways, um, Tier 5 Talismans will be added. They can be obtained randomly in Level 8 Inferno Mode of the World Boss. And they have fixed compatibility values when acquired and cannot be upgraded. So when you get it, you're done. And then a new co combined system is being added as well. Only the Talisman or L Stone, Star L Stone are, com are allowed to combine when you use three equipment from the same tier as a material to obtain one equipment from the same tier. So basically, if you're doing World Boss and you end up getting three garbage Talismans as, you know, as... Th that's just how it is but you get three garbage talismans instead of you just feeding them like I do we can now combine them and pray to our Jesus that we'll actually get something that's relatively useful so um, that's pretty cool I have no problems with that when combining tier 1 to tier 3 the player attains the same tier 1 equipment with level 1 when combining tier 4 to tier 5 equipment the player obtain the same tier equipment between minimum and maximum levels of the equipment used as material so they're saying that if you got a max tier 4 and tier 5 equipment and you throw them in the blender that it might come out in between so you don't have to necessarily start over with your levels so if you have two if you have three tier 3 talismans and they're all level 30 when you fuse it well it's going to come out at level 1 they're saying that if it's tier 4 or tier 5 and you have it at level 30 40 50 wherever it caps out at and you fuse them together with a couple others that are around the same point that it might come out to be 15 or level 20 so you don't have to spend as much money um, just upgrading those talismans back to the max level which is it's nice that helps save on some gold not that it costs too much anyways Colosseum intrusion has been added as well you battle the Colosseum intrusion battle with some opponent some opponents in the Colosseum's opponent list when a hero dies in battle an intrusion joins the battle so are they saying that they just come out I'm assuming that they just come out and attack 
Or are they talking about if someone dies, this hero comes out as well? If it's just intrusion and they come out and do an attack, that could be problematic. But if like someone dies and then this one comes out, that's going to be oof, man. That's going to be oof. So the dudes that already are tearing things up in Infinite Fortress, congratulations, man, for PvP. It just got worse. It just got worse. But it does add a little bit of strategy in there as well. So I am a big fan of that, even though I'm not a super duper big PvPer. The raid renovation, the Elstone rewards will be added to the raid. So that way we can get Elstones, of course. And then, as I stated before, with the eighth difficulty level of Inferno, we can obtain the tier 5 talismans. They've also added two more levels of difficulty to the raids. And in some difficulties, random number of boss monsters are increased. So they're kind of trying to make it a little bit harder, I guess. And then the Guild War changes. The score acquired on the day is displayed, which is always great. The Fortress Defeat rewards will be added. This reward will be based different based on a rating of the Fortress and the previous day's ranking of the enemy's guild. A checkbox will be added to automatically proceed with battle progress and hero placement in full auto combat. My boys... This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I almost made a video today before I read these notes about how I like Guild War, but it kind of sucks that we can't just auto it because I'd rather just auto it and not have to worry about clicking my phone every two seconds or clicking my emulator every two seconds when I'm trying to watch anime to do this type of stuff. Well, congratulations. Crave Mob's like, don't worry, Elio. Don't worry, you guys. We got auto mode for you, my boy. So we have auto Guild War. That is blessed, man. Blessed. Um, new Guild camp decorations will also be added honor summon shop added will sell a variety of equipment running subpoenas which have been sold at existing existing honorary stores the horner shop will be remained and the items in the summon box will be moved to the honor shop i don't i, I don't know and then um team name changing has added has been added now players can change their team name uh, you can change your team name once for free in your team information. Uh, I'm assuming that I can name my team now. I'm going to do a uh, hashtag team Dean if that's definitely possible. Um, but I guess we can give our own self our little title for our team. So if you see us in the game somewhere, it could be like, hey, look, there's team Dean. I know that must be Elio because he's the only person that is being adamant about Dean, even though there's obviously better Dean players. But we can add, I guess, just another layer of, cus of, yeah, of customizing our squad and making our squad our own. But I believe that's pretty much it for the. Oh nope, that's that's not it. Um, free charge center menu has been added. So for us, I believe in the U.S. and maybe Europe or maybe somewhere else, we can watch ads to get 100k gold two times a day while well, they're adding in uh, a spot for us to now get crystals 30 crystals a day which in 10 days is 300 but in 30 days that's actually 900 which is almost 1k so that's actually not bad at all and we also can do a summon ticket reward from ads even though it's a weekly limit of one that's still one extra pull which is one extra chance for tier six equipment this is blessed man i'll watch all the ads you want if you guys want to put more ads in the game, I'll watch them as long as I get something out of it. Then intro tutorial changes. And it fixed some bugs. That's pretty much it. The theme music on the login screen changes to play randomly. I already thought they did that, but apparently they didn't. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So it seems like it's going to be an exciting patch. I'm very excited about the free charge center stuff. I'm excited that we actually get uh, that lovely waifu there and her little adorable, like, build-a-bear, like, creepy thingy that she has over there. It's cool that we get team names as well and that they're adding in um, intrusions in the Coliseum. Not really sure what to think about the L-Stone because not only does this add another faction of just being able to customize your character and further increase your stats... But it adds in another complex thing to where I don't know if this is going to be cheap. I don't know if this is going to be expensive. 
I'm already trying to, you know, max out my gear on my characters that I have. So now I have another thing to work on, which is exciting, but also a bit overwhelming because it's like, no matter what I do, I can never be done. I can never be done. But that's pretty much it for this video. Feel free to leave a comment below what you're excited about, what you're looking forward to. Um, more content on the way. I know it is kind of slow, but there's not much added to the game for for me to review other than maybe passives for characters, but I'm not an expert on that either. So just bear with me for the time being. But as always, guys, I'll see you guys later in, in the next video. So uh, peace out.